In today's Peach Bite, we're gonna be talking about how to back up your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch to iCloud. I really can't emphasize just how important it is for you to back up the information stored on your device. Luckily for us, Apple's provided a quick, easy, and simple way to do so through a service called iCloud, which they provide for free. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna be looking for what they call the settings icon. Now the settings icon may have moved depending on what kind of arrangements you've done with your screen, but I'm gonna go ahead and tap on my now. From this screen, what we're gonna do is scroll down on the left-hand side and we're looking for iCloud with that kind of silver cloud icon. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And you can see that iCloud is asking you to enter in your Apple ID. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in mine in now. And from there, we're gonna go ahead and tap on sign in. For right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, yeah, I would like iCloud to be able to find my iPad. Now you can see there are plenty of options checked off. We're gonna ignore those for right now. We're gonna skip straight to storage and backup. We're gonna tap right on that. We're gonna go ahead and tap on iCloud backup and we're gonna turn on that iCloud backup feature. And it's asking me, hey, I was backing up to the computer. Would you like me to stop doing that and now back up online? And I'm gonna say, yeah, I would like that. I'm gonna say, okay. Now with iCloud, it's gonna make a backup automatically as long as I have Wi-Fi and it's plugged into charge at night. Now, one thing we wanna make sure though is that our information will actually fit onto iCloud. And the way we're gonna test that is by tapping on backup now. Since I have Wi-Fi and I can see that Wi-Fi symbol lit up, I should be able to just tap on backup now and have it make an attempt. We're gonna have a follow-up video on what to do if you don't have enough storage space in iCloud coming up soon.